In this video we are going to see the differentiation of tan of x. Tan of x is a trigonometric function. So if you see how tan of x is defined in terms of other trigonometric functions, let's say sin of x and cos of x, it can be written as tan of x equals to sin of x over cos of x. And if you see secant of x, how it is written as, it is written as 1 over cos of x. And in this case, we are going to use a coefficient rule of differentiation. The reason is, as we can write this tan of x in terms of sin of x and cos of x, we know the derivatives of sin of x and cos of x, as which we have seen in the previous videos. Okay, So we are going to use coefficient rule. If we rewrite the coefficient rule here, I am not going to show the parenthesis within which x is represented. I am just going to show f by g. It can be written as g times f dash. f dash it means the derivative of f minus f times g dash. g dash is derivative of g divided by g square. Okay, so if you use these three and and start doing the derivation by using this formula, in which f is taken as sine of x and g is taken as cos of x. In that case, if you rewrite this d by dx of, okay sin of x divided by cos of x we can write it as okay cos of x times derivative of sin of x derivative of sin of x is we know it's cos of x minus okay we write sin of x times derivative of cos of x we know derivative of cos of x is minus sin of x so product divided by cos square of x. Now we can rewrite this as cos square of x minus we'll have plus here because the minus minus it becomes plus sine square of x divided by cos square of x and we can write this as 1 over cos square x and which can be written as if you see here secant x is defined in terms of cosecant x in this way as we have shown here so we can write this as secant square of x so we can say derivative of tan of x is equal to secant square of x okay and if you see we have used one trigonometric identity here. What it states is cos square of x plus sine square of x is 1. You can take that equation here. Sine square of x plus cosecant square or cos square of x is equal to 1. So if we use all these right hand side four equations and start doing the derivation, we can prove that derivative of tan of x is nothing but secant square of x. Thank you for watching.